Hey guys, Michelle Fix It, uh, July 10th, 2023, and we. You don't have a selfie stick, but my dad was just telling me. Um, some, of the, some of the parts to here in a 2013 and up. Yeah, so like, you know how housing, there's a housing crisis right now, and like nobody can afford rents, and then people are losing their homes. Well, like a lot of people are having to go to RVs and stuff, and he's telling me that like, there's a 09 one that he's looking at and like other places are like no you can't have the 09 here because you have to be 13 and up so what happens to the people that can't afford a 13 and up I mean, that's ridiculous they ain't got nowhere to park it that's ridiculous though because like they're go they're doing away with trailer parks you know the old houses well, they, that want, they want everybody in one location for control control the power is not the money it's human life that's power that's what power is, not money, not gold, not silver, being able to control life or death, situation, playing God, getting rid of who you want to, period. Well, in any case, it doesn't sound very nice, and it sounds like it messes up people that don't have the funds to be able to do that. Right now, a lot of people don't have a lot of funds. So, you know, if you lose your house, what are you supposed to do? Just be okay with, like, living on the street? Living yeah, in your that's car? it. It's a it's a big thing like the small house thing, the tiny home thing, and all this other stuff. I mean, and if they can sit there and get a trailer and build like a trailer frame or a shed at Home Depot, but then you have something like that for the RVs, like what are they going to do with that? They won't let you live in that. No, they do. California, they do, and all over the place. There's a lot of people that travel. Well, that's and because do that. it's it's all liberal. And they ain't got nowhere else to put 35 million uh, illegals coming in. They don't want to put them in motels because it's costing too much. I'm sorry, I, I'm just telling you like it is. Well, I you mean... You recording this shit? That's what I just told you. Oh, never mind. Daddy, I just said that I was going to be doing a video. Well, I'm telling you the truth. They don't like it, still. Okay, well, I don't do foul language on my channel. Now. And why are you doing foul language? Screw, screw them is it sounds not nice. You're not talking about putting a screw into a piece of wood. I got a screw in my pocket. Okay, well, evidently he's talking about the screw in his pocket. He's saying he's going to throw his screw that's in his pocket at someone. And he's going to break my vehicle rules because I have children in the car. Uh, anyways. Yeah, and there's just a lot of stuff that's going on right now that doesn't make a lot of sense. And, like, people have different opinions on it. 2013, a parking RV. That makes me mad. That, so I, I'm pissed I, off about that. I, I hear my dad. Thank you, liberals. I hear my dad on a lot of stuff. And then I do see the flip side on some of the stuff. But there's things that I just don't agree with. And one of my big things that I don't agree with, because of what I see personally in Baltimore and in the small towns and everything else, is that there are a lot of people that are very gluttonous and there are a lot of people that are starving and somewhere along the way there's got to be some type of equalization because otherwise there's going to be a lot of Americans out on the streets and being homeless because they're making it where the areas where they could normally flock to and have like a teeny tiny speck of a roof over their head and maybe a little bit of transportation like right now let the illegals move in it they're taking okay. all the housing no well there's federal funding yes it is okay well I don't know about that I stuff. do but what I do know is that a lot of people are choosing not to work and they're choosing to live off of systems that are not like if you're all, if people are taking and taking and taking and then they're not working and working and working, people have to work somewhere. And so if that means that immigrants have to come in and pick up jobs that Americans don't want to have, because I do see that on a day to day basis and that's very frustrating. So when I see immigrants coming in, that are like, oh, America, the land of the dreams and milk and honey, and they're all happy, and then they get like poo pooed on because yeah, they they're. They get government assistance all the time. They're getting it now. Well, if that's the case, then that's a problem as well because if people, if Americans don't want to work because of the meager earnings that they're getting from the government, and then they feel like, oh, if I get a job, I'm not going to be able to do it, like they don't have foundational stuff. Like, I was fortunate where, like, I had a vehicle, I had a license at an early age, I started working at an early age. Like, I had my, my basic needs met, and so therefore I was able to work. But, like, some people just don't have the basic needs, and then they just get so pooped on by life, they're just like, you know what, I'm just going to sit on the steps and not do anything, because when I try, I get yelled at. And, then, and a lot of, like, guys and women feel that way, too. So, you know, just random conversation during the drive.
mom had her trailer, they tried to say no, but they at least saw it, and then they were like, okay, it's nice, and so they did it. 